I am often asked how I managed to lose over 90 pounds. The expectation being that I reveal some magic formula or potion that helped it helped me with this lofty endeavor. Unfortunately, I do not have a sexy answer to this question. And no matter uh, what uh, a weight loss guru or influencer or app or program says, uh, the answer to this question is really not a mystery. When embarking on a weight loss journey, many of us are excited with the idea of shedding uh, a few pounds. Um, we hope uh, it is a short period of time because we want the results uh, that come with depriving ourselves of food. Um, over and over again, we find ourselves looking up ways to lose weight fast and following eating plans and exercise regimes that are quite restrictive, unhealthy, and laborious in the pursuit of our goals. What might come as a surprise to you is that slow weight loss is not only achievable, but it does honor your pace when it comes to habits and rituals that are near and dear to you, which do include uh, going out for restaurants, drinking your favorite drink, having ice cream, um, and, incorporate, and keeping those in your life. Good morning, friends. If you don't know who I am, my name is Jessica, and I engage in conversations about weight loss, weight-related disease education, and how to achieve weight loss in an affordable way that honors the way we live. The truth is, no matter which way you cut it, we have to change how we eat and how we move. This can be an evolving thing, one in which you can tackle one habit at a time. Um, how, how, would I, I, how I would start is by listing my non-negotiables and my negotiables. Uh, for example, my non-negotiable is of course having wine on the weekends. Uh, and my social items with my family and my friends. Um, if there is a meeting with my sister or my parents and we're going to a restaurant, um, I'm not going to take out my calculator and count how many calories I'm, um, I'm going to eat. So According to Health Canada website, the causes of and contributors contributors to obesity are complex and extend well beyond an individual's choice over calories in and out. Established contributors to obesity do include social economic status, sex, ethnicity, access to healthcare, genetics, regional food, and built-in environmental factors. We all know that we have an obese epidemic that we do not move like we used to, and inherently that quick fixes do not work. Weight loss takes time, um, just as it did when we gained the weight. We do have our own amount of responsibility to this very fact. To lose more weight, you need to either increase your physical activity or decrease the calories you eat. Using the same approach that worked at, at first may initially um, maintain your weight loss, but it won't lead to more weight loss. The slower your metabolism is, it will slow your weight loss even if you eat the same number of calories that helped you to lose weight to begin with. When the calories you burn equal the calories you eat, you reach pl a plateau. We do not have to actively pursue thinness if we are already improving our diet and increasing our exercise. If you're already doing that, you're already improving your health. If you're overweight or obese, even modest weight loss does improve any chronic health condition related to being um, above 
a certain weight, above your weight uh, class. Uh, the reality is that as you lose weight, you need to come to terms that weight loss and maintenance is a constant review of your nutrition. Conversely, if you add as, as little as 150 calories a day for a year, you actually gain 15 pounds. If you continue in that manner, in 10 years, you can gain up to 150 pounds, and that is just one extra cookie. Do not be tricked and tempted by promises of rapid weight loss. Unfortunately, they don't work. <laughs> Such plans will only serve to lead you down a path of yo-yo dieting and other health issues. You do have everything you need in your home to lose weight. You only need to eat smaller meals and move about five to 10 minutes at a time, either by walking, dancing, just like you see me, <laughs> cleaning your kitchen, moving in general. Do not forget that I can, and I cannot emphasize enough that weight loss plateaus are common occurrences, that they often occur when your metabolism slows down during weight loss. If you are sticking to the portion to portion control and to working out, you might be going through a plateau, but you need to be patient. You need to keep going as the ideal size is not what you're after, but fat loss and increased function. If you found this video uh, valuable, please like, and if you find my content worth of following, please subscribe on my YouTube channel, Jessica RN. I wish you health and happiness.